Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 Prediction. Obviously it's a bit of a delay with my League 1 and 2 predictions this week, purely because of midweek um, games. So, so I can talk about them results and then also coming into the weekend and my predictions. Um, I thought I'd leave it till now to get them up and so you can see them. Um, but uh, as I said, there's been a few shocks in this midweek um, games. Uh, this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company. The deal that I've done with the company is they've agreed to sell my first little merch. So, you know, feel free to uh, have a look after this video. Um, but as I said, there's a few shocks in uh, lead to the midweek game. So as I go through them, um, as I go through my predictions, guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game I'll talk about is Bradford versus Carlisle. Bradford losing three to Cheltenham. Great three points for Cheltenham um, at home. I think I might have Bradford down to win that one. Um, you know, f f do feel free to go back and check after you watch this video. Um, Carlisle nil nil with Forest Green at home. Um, you know, very. That Bradford result is probably more surprising than, than um, the Carlisle one. No disrespect to Carlisle or Forest Green. But Cheltenham to get three points at home against Bradford. Very good three points indeed for Cheltenham. Um, on the other hand, Carlisle got a point. They could probably take a bit of confidence out of that because it was against Forest Green and how well they've been doing this season. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Bradford win. My next one is Cambridge versus Swindon Town. Um, Swindon Town losing 3-0 at home to Colchester. Um, Cambridge beat of uh, winning 4 0 at Mansfield. Um, great result for Cambridge, 4 0 away uh, result. Never easy to do in any division, so you know that must have been a good day for Cambridge. You know, and uh, well, I guess your fans enjoyed that day, uh, that night out, uh, or you know, what time did you leave, right? Um, but you know, for them Cambridge fans that did go to Mansfield. You know, obviously you enjoyed the night and I'm happy for you to get that kind of result away from home. Um, Swindon, on the other hand, losing 3-0 at home to Colchester, as I've just mentioned. Um, not a great day at the office for Swindon Town. Uh, you know, was it one of them things? Could possibly have been, but... You know, you know better than I do. Um, tell me how your team's played over this midweek fixtures. Um, but as far as this game goes, because of that Swindon Town result and the Cambridge result, I've came up with a 3-1 Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester versus Lake Norian. Just as we mentioned, Colchester uh, winning 3-0 away at Swindon Town. Lake Norian... At home, losing 2-1 to Crew Alexander. Um, as I said, the most probably shocking one out of that one, the two results again, is probably the Colchester result. Let's uh, not, you know, not Clay Norian. They've only just came back up um, from the conference. So for them to either get one goal against Someone like Crew, um, who's performing very well at this stage of the season, um, you know you can't knock it. Um, I'll be, I mean, obviously, uh, I'll probably be happy only losing two one at home against the top half side. Um, Colchester, excellent three points for the fans that went to Swindon Town. Obviously, I'm happy for you that, that result. Um, but you know there's still a long way to go in this season but as far as this game goes I'll go for a 2-1 Colchester win my next one is Crew Alexander versus Sulphur City just literally mentioned Crew Alexander 
beat, uh, beating Lake Norian 2-1 at Lake Norian. Um, Salford beating Grimsby 1-0 at home. Great result for Salford. Um, you know, let's not beat around the bush with that one. Uh, I think I had Grimsby Town to win that one. If I remember rightly, that Salford lost the fixture before. Um, but, you know, Salford still got out there to do a job. Um, I ain't actually been to Salford. Um, obviously, it's where I live and stuff like that. But what I've seen, uh, the class of 92 is doing a great job. Nice little stadium for a League 2 club. Who knows, probably expanded in the future. But obviously it depends how far Sulphur uh, Sulf City goes. Got there in the end. Um, but, you know, to have someone like the class of 92 as your board. Man, them players got to be loving it. Um, Crew Alexander. Beating late Norman 2 1. No, probably, probably a bit disappointed if I was a crew supporter that we didn't get the three points. No disrespect to late Norman, as I've said about they've just literally came back up from the conference. So, you know, to go places like late Norman, they probably were expected to get the three points as well. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3 1 crew Alexander win. My next one is Forest Green versus Stevenage. Forest Green nil nil at Carlisle. Um, Stevenage losing one nil to Northampton Town. Northampton Town have had a great couple of results. I'll talk about them when I get down to their fixture. Let me go over back to the Stevenage point of view. Probably a bit disappointed. Um, because of being at home. And no disrespect to Northampton, they're the sort of teams you need to be beaten if you want to survive. Uh, yeah. But it didn't happen, so obviously we move on, uh, you move on. Um, Forest Green, on the other hand, I'll probably be a bit disappointed as well. Uh, Carlisle. Um, yeah, it's a bit one to sum that up. I'm not sure if I'll be disappointed. Obviously, for a screen fans, you know better than I do. Um, were you disappointed with the point or were you happy with the point? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But on my, uh, what I've seen and, you know, what I've, what I've been seeing, I probably will be disappointed if I was a Forest screen fan and I only get the point at Carlisle. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2 0 for a screen win. My next one is Grinsby Town versus Macclesfield. Um, Grinsby Town losing 1 0 at Salford. Macclesfield 1 0 at home to Newport. Uh, Macclesfield a point at home to Newport. How will I summon that up? I'll probably be happy if I'm all honest if I was a Macclesfield fan. Purely because I know what Newport can do. Newport are a very dangerous lower league team. In my opinion, obviously you've all got your own opinions. Um, but in my opinion, Newport is a very dangerous lower league team as I just said. It is, you know, go to Newport, get a point. I'll probably be happy if my team had to go to Newport and get a point. Oh, you know, playing them away. Yeah, I'll probably be happy with a home point. But obviously, you've seen the games. Um, obviously, I'm just saying it from my it, um, it's, example. Please feel free to put yours down in the comments below. Because um, I'm always interested to hear from other fans as well. Um, especially when we have mixed opinions, if you know what I mean, it you know it does create some conversation. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport County versus Exeter. Just actually mentioned Newport, one all at Macclesfield. Exeter beaten Port Vale two 0 at home. X 
said uh, Paul would be expected. Uh, no disrespect to Paul Val whatsoever. Uh, and I'm just basically what I wanted to say on, on the Newport and on the, when I was talking about the Macclesfield game. Um, but yeah, I, so I don't know how to sum that up from a Newport point of view either. But a point of peace, uh, as I said, you know better than I do, so please feel free to put your comments down below on what you think on the midweek results. And also what you think of my predictions as well. Um, you know, it's, I always do like having conversations with you. Um, you know, when I get the time, it's... But I see all your comments. I do take time to read them. So do feel free to leave your comments down below. Um, and I will obviously get back to you. And, you know, I might even send you a message back. Who knows? But obviously it's up to you if you want to leave a comment. Um... But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Crawley. Northampton Town beating Stevenage 1 0 away from home. Crawley 2 2 against Plymouth Argyle. Now, I know that Crawley, I think they went 1 0 up, and I knew. I know for a fact they went 2-1 down. Um, obviously, I, I, I look on my phone and look at the scores and whatever else whenever teams are playing. Um, but, Crawley Town fans, are you happy with that point? Or do you just have all three? See, unless you talk, you know, it. you could change my opinion, for example, when you talk. Um, I'm only seeing it from the results perspective and other perspectives, but you talk and you could change my opinion. A few fans have this season already. So, you know, when you do talk, you could be changing my opinion for my next old predictions, but it's up, as I said, it's up to you whether you want to talk. Um, Northampton Town haven't absolutely filled that at the minute. Six points in two games. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Crawley Town win. My next one is Oldham versus Morecambe. Oldham 2-2 away to Scunthorpe. Morecambe losing 1-0 at home to Walsall. No Big surprises in both of them games, so I'm just going to give you my result, and that is a one all scoreline. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Cheltenham Town. Just as she spoke about Cheltenham and Plymouth. Plymouth 2 2 away to Crawley, going 2 1 up. You disappointed Plymouth fans that you didn't hold on for the three points. Um, Cheltenham Town beating Bradford 3-2 at home. Great, great day for Ch uh, Cheltenham Town. On the other hand, Plymouth Argyle, I think, Crawley scored in the 80th minute, um, if I remember rightly. But you've got, as I said, Plymouth fans, are you annoyed that you didn't manage to get the three points in that Crawley uh, game? Uh, but... You know, it's one of them things. Um, Chapman, as I said, had a field day. Probably one against the odds Chapman Town did. So, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Mansfield. Port Vale losing 2-0 away to Exeter. Mansfield losing 4-0 at home to Cambridge. Uh, well, I can't really talk about both because the only one that really sh probably against the odds in both results was that Cambridge result. Um, but I said what I wanted to say on that, on the Cambridge end. So as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe... 2-2 at home to Oldham Athletic. Uh, 
Um, Walsall winning away from home 1 0 against Morecambe. Both results yet again, probably both inspectors. So I'm just going to give you my result and I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one as well. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.